Hey, what's up, Emil? I say you go to the church, what you want to grab? 20, 30, what you got going on? All right, go to the church, I'm going to pull up on you. All right, homeboy. Bitch. Yes, sir. What you yeah, do? I do it for free, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, man, boat trip 10 years in the penitentiary. Hey, man, I got 14 kids. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to give it to a young brother like God gave it the most. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to mislead nobody. I'm going to give it to him law and truth. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was a young 15 year old out here in these Southwest streets on Spice Lane. Lost, you know what I'm saying? Come from a dysfunctional home. Well, really and truly, we can take it back to, you know what I'm saying? When my mama caught the murder case, because I'm originally from the dead end, South Park, you know what I'm saying? Mama caught a murder case out there, domestic violence, went on a run. They, she uh, came and, you know, and uh, the case, you know, she got seven years deferred, you know what I'm saying? Then we moved, you know what I'm saying? We went on a run originally to Bay Town, and that's where she met, you know what I'm saying? My stepfather, you know what I'm saying? He had just done. Uh, eight years from a cold field to be though. He learned how to pipe fit and pipe wheel. He was down there for aggravated robbery, dope cases, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so my mama on the run for a burner cave ran to my stepdaddy. You know what I'm saying? In Bay Town, and my great grandmother rent houses out there. So, you know, they came together. You know, and hey, man, we came back. My mama got seven years probation. We came to the side with She didn't want to go back. You know what I'm saying? To the dead end, the side park. You know what I'm saying? From which she came while that shit had happened. So we got out here, you know what I'm saying, at 86, I'm seven years old, we touched down on Club Creek. So she was different out here, you know what I'm saying? And out there in the dead end, I'm Miss Bootay Grandma. My grandma, my mama done walked down the streets. My great grandmother, you know what I'm saying? So it's generations in this predominantly black neighborhood. And you know, everybody migrated to the Southwest in the 80s for a better way of life, because you know, it was you know multicultural, you know what I'm saying? It was more jobs and it was a better way of life. And you know, we was trying to get, everybody trying to elevate, you know what I'm saying? So I can come back and reach one, teach one. What we're doing right here, you know, right, it's a right. blessing. You know, how life comes full circle. Yes. That's the definition of that quick shake right there. Right. So uh, we out here in 86, so it was, the culture was different. So I went from going door to door, knocking on the doors, get, uh, taking our trash in the dead end for my hustle, for my grandfather, you know, from Sunset, Louisiana. Well, bless you. And, uh, he taught me the value of hard work, you know. He ain't let us sit up, you know what I'm saying? When he was a truck driver. When he got up when the, when the sun, before the sun came up, yeah. and when he came back in, the sun was down, you know. So he was gone for four days. He hauled pipe out of the uh, port of Houston, right? So, you know, he instilled that hard work ethic in me. So he wouldn't give us nothing. He'd make us earn it. Everything we we got from him, we had to earn it. Right. That's how he instilled the hard work ethic in me. But, you know, long story short, you know what I mean? Just like, you know, went from door to door. Like Lil' Kiki say, we was taking our garbage, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. were washing cars, we were cutting, cutting grass, grass, we yep. were doing whatever, yep. you know what I'm saying, to make an honest living in the hood right. when you come from the bottom and, and fixed income, humble beginnings, they call it, you right. feel me? Yeah. So, uh, that being saying, so out here, I'm going door to door. The culture was different. So, I ain't Miss Boots, grandson out here on the Southwest no more. You know, it's Asian, yeah. and Asian, A-Rap. A lot of people don't want to knock on their door. So, right. damn, that was, so I wind up getting... The newspaper robbed and that led to robbing and hustling, but I had a lot of problems at home, like my mother, yeah. you know, as a result of the murder case, you know, she still had to deal with mental, the mental of trauma, you know what I'm saying? I guess right. they call it PTSD now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. shit after that, the mental effects of gotcha. taking this man life, even though she was fear, fear of her life and her kids, like, mm -hmm. you feel me? She, Hey man, she's drunk a lot. But if you meet young coming up, I couldn't understand that. And I couldn't mm -hmm. understand my stepfather, this guy the penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Being from another country town, coming to the big city, falling in love with my mama, you know what I'm saying? You know, two boys that ain't heels, he used to tell me all the time, mm -hmm. you ain't my son, but I love you like you, my son. And mm -hmm. say, man, I ain't had no papa either, you know what I'm saying? Nobody give a fuck about me, but dig deep blues, man. I love you like you, my son. I love your mama, man. And he gave it to me round and cut, you know what I'm saying? The way he was giving it to, you know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. taught me the rules of the game and the streets and what not to do. He knew I, he ain't had to get on my other brothers and sisters like that because he ain't see himself in them. Mm -hmm. He used to tell me all the time, like, it's a spending from school and shit like that. But he knew, you know what I'm saying, this young brother here, you know what I'm saying, just needed some, I don't know, guidance or whatever. Mm -hmm. But long story short, that shit transferred over to my block spice line, 8323. They called me Scarface. My name Brian Grant. You feel me? Uh, you know, I left home because, you know, it was a bunch of domestic vibe between my mama and, you know, fighting my stepdaddy, me and my brothers and shit. You feel me? Go to jail, you know what I'm saying, for a year. Go to penitentiary. Mama say, nigga, I ain't gonna come back. I nigga pop back up. Now we pissed off, you know what I'm saying? We're from water, peace, back and forth. 
So, you know, that's love. That's grown folk. And anybody, you know what I'm saying? Your kid don't understand that shit coming up, man. Yeah. So now, you know what I'm saying? I'm grown. I got baby moms. I understand that shit. So shout out to them. But my mama done the best she could. And my stepdaddy gave it to me raw, not cut. And you know, you know what I'm saying? My mama drunk, was an alcoholic, you know what I'm saying? As a result of the murder case. But she still took care of business with her kids and kept a clean house and worked hard. You know what I'm saying? My stepfather, you know, we had this battle with cocaine and crack addiction and shit. On my block, you know what I'm saying? My pockets were serving them. And I'm like, damn, why my life getting cut off? Yeah, Food yeah. coming up short. You know what the fuck? What the calls in? They can't get the motherfucking Jordans and shit. I'm pissed off. Because the motherfucking goddamn me, the man stepdaddy, you know what I'm Serving saying? your daddy. Yeah, he's getting yeah, served. My yeah. partner headache, matter of fact, side the headache yeah. on lock. Free the bros, man. Yeah. That nigga that was uh, serving him, man. So I'm like, yeah, I got to give me dinner on Monday. My mama called nigga crackhead. And yeah. we got the dad program at the schoolhouse, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, damn, this nigga crackhead? Nobody <laughs> nigga broke. Nigga been gone a week and my life's cut off. I gotta give me some motherfucking crack, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, hey man, I hit the block to my partner, say, man, my partner, Tony, you know what I'm saying? And my partner, Young Dog, you know what I'm saying? Hey, mm -hmm. hey man, the boy put me on and hey man, showed me a way to survive. When mm -hmm. I brought him, the first, my first mind was sticking up shit. I was mm -hmm. kicking in doors, in the cars, you know what I'm saying? Popping an iron on them nigga ass, mm -hmm. robbing shit, shaking shit, down, strong arming, pistol, however to get it. And know? that was so big on the Southwest. That was big yeah. on in the 90s. You know? yeah, so this that 90s era, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Say, man, hey, that was that BD, uh, BD era, you yeah. know what I'm talking about? That shit was crazy, you know what I'm saying? But it, the culture was different. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was about, yeah. uh, in the Southeast where I was from, yeah. it was about what neighborhoods you was from, right. what streets right. you was from. Yeah. You no, know, I'm from the dead end, South yeah. Park. Then mm -hmm. you got boys off jailhouse. Then you got boys off uh, mm -hmm. Hershey Wood. Right. Remember, and so forth, just like Fifth Ward, you might yeah. have boys out of Kelly Court Project, right. and you got boys out of Coke Street, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? In every other city neighborhood, you know how that shit go. But DV Blues, man, it's been a blessing. And what my thing is, I've done four trips, 10 years in the penitentiary. I just mm -hmm. beat a life sentence, you know what I'm saying? I'm currently on paper right now, you feel mm -hmm. me? And, you know, I, I start reading the work. And my mama told me, nigga, you want to run a motherfucking house, you know what I'm saying? You and there fighting my husband, running my mouth, you want to control, mm -hmm. control something. Mama, he ain't right for you. Look here, nigga, you want to run a motherfucking house, nigga, go out there and get you a house to run. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to run mine. You right. feel me? So when they find that crack and that pistol in my, in my room, mm -hmm. hey, man, it was over with. Yeah. I had to get the fuck up out of them. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't understand it at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I left home with a heart full of anger. I'm in the street pissed off. Felt mm -hmm. like my mama done played me. Everybody done gave up on me, so I'm pissed off. So I feel these young niggas with a heart full of anger because mm -hmm. I'm that nigga. So I'm sleeping on the motherfucking Spice Lane corner on the steps, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My partner's going in with their mamas. I'm out there all day, all night, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Selling crack and shit. You know, got to sleep in the house with, mm -hmm. with the licks and shit. Mm -hmm. The licks being good to me, you know what I'm saying? I don't really call people dope, mm -hmm. man. My daddy was had a, a, you know, drug addiction, but that didn't mm -hmm. stop him from being a productive good nigga and a citizen. That was just a high that he, he, he uh, fucked with to cope. You know what right. I'm saying? That's what his coping mechanism. You mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. So, uh, my thing now is, you know, I was a outstanding member of the Southwest Black Disciples and still one, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I understand the brothers that are struggling, the sisters that are struggling. Because the brothers, they put the structure in the organization, the blood, the grip, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the peace stones, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hey, Brothers that the founding members, all these organizations was created, you know what I'm saying, to protect the black neighborhoods. You don't mm -hmm. see the Ku Klux Klans going up against the motherfucking skinheads and vice versa. And the white knights and, and the mm -hmm. wood pile and the penitentiary don't go against each other. Why the bloods and the crips killing each other? Why the black disciples in the motherfucking... Uh, I'm glad you brought the Ku Klux Klan up. Other uh, black organization that was originally created to protect the women and children, our people, your mm -hmm. mother, your mm -hmm. grandmother, your father, you right. know what I'm saying, your elders... Your people. So that all we want to do is have a good way of life and live in peace, and not have our, you know, civilization broken. We want to live civil, man. Right. We're, our people don't teach us to hate. You know what I'm saying? They let teach me, us to be aware. Let me ask you something. Do you yes, feel? Sir. Do you feel that uh, we, as black men, are the new Ku Klux Klan? Yeah, I feel like the, with all the black on black crime and all the record labels promoting all this stepping mm -hmm. music, but they don't have no country. I remember back in the game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we mm -hmm. the, our own worst enemy. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, the, the niggas, yeah, these days the brothers is everybody black ain't your brother if his mindset right. ain't, ain't, ain't got, ain't on unity, on right. black unity and black empowerment. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Breaking the generation mm -hmm. curse and right. stopping black on black crime. See the Ku Klux Klan organization just sit back and let, give up the drugs and the alcohol, and let us kill each other. Right. You then they sit back and laugh at us. Exactly. They just like the scary coward ass nigga in the streets and in the mm -hmm. penitentiary that uh, he he'll agitate the fight, but he don't never he don't never want to do nothing. How you think we, how you think we can overcome this? 
how we can overcome that yeah. is we gotta start at home and they gotta we gotta go back out to take the streets back. Mm -hmm. we gotta go out into these sisters that's out here on business with the ASI. Mm -hmm. And remember that's somebody's daughter, man. That's right. somebody mama, that's somebody daughter, that's somebody sister. No, I'm talking about them. See a child of God, it's a human being. That's, that's your right. sister. Whether she black, white, or whatever color. No, I'm that's saying right. you're supposed to love them, man. I right. got kids, man. I got eight daughters. No, I'm saying that right. ain't never been my thing. No, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying I understand the game. And my mama and sisters and aunties and did what they had to do on that note. No, I'm saying. So mm -hmm. I can't knock that either. But at the same time, it's a better way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Cause God blessed us, man. We come from several. Like, if people. Go back to black history mm -hmm. and really find out who they are, but mm -hmm. they, the knowledge been cut off. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And once the wisdom not and understanding is cut off, and you don't listen to the elders, once you stop listening to your parents and grandparents, they got the wisdom not and understanding because they done lived your life. You ain't right. never lived there. My mom used to tell me, right, "Boy, I taught you everything you know, not all I know." So that means, son, guess what? And this mm -hmm. used to tell me, a, jo a mother's job ain't never done. Mm -hmm. That means to my mama, to the cans can drop. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm gonna be teaching you something. You gonna always be my baby, nigga. I don't give a fuck how many times you've been in the pen or whoever the fuck you think you will, this scarf face black disciple head. Whoever you mm -hmm. think you will, right. nigga, you my right. baby, nigga. Because right. everybody out here is somebody's baby, man. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Matter of fact, Mo 3 got a song called Baby, man. He was saying mm -hmm. Sandra Bland and everybody's somebody's baby, man. Mm -hmm. To send a message, you know what I'm right. saying? That everybody's somebody's baby, man. You walk in love and respect people, man, mm -hmm. and love yourself. First, you gotta love yourself. You gotta mm -hmm. love who you are. Say, I love me. I'm a black king. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I love my just blackness. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I listen to my great grandmother, grandmother, and my mm -hmm. grandfather tell me about the struggle and all the things, trials and tribulations that our people had to endure. Right. And hey, man, if I continue, you know what I'm saying, to, to be. A, a geno to create a genocide in my hood mm -hmm. and in my uh, uh, being a death to my own people. I don't love myself or my people, and I'm a fraud. So let me ask you something. So right now, and you don't have to answer everything, and if you don't feel comfortable answering, but your way of making a living right now, of getting financed right now, how do you hustle. do? It? You hustle. Hustle. Every so, day. so narcotics. Yes, sir. Okay, but that's genocide, correct? Yeah, that's genocide. Okay, so. But you don't want to be a part of that. Hell, now nah, I don't want to do it. I'm put in a position to have to do it. Because so, you can't go get a decent job because of your background, correct? And yep, because of my background. But I can get certain jobs. Right. It's all right. Once I get the job, right. then I take to this mm -hmm. this job like a duck to water. And I right. come in, I'm reliable and I'm dependable and I'm working mm -hmm. hard. It come down to the mental discrimination. It right. come down to the mental part of right. maintaining the job. With it now. This black man is king and, mm -hmm. and he's trying. He's yeah. working hard, he's reliable, right. he's dependable. Now it comes to, all right, if you work too hard, if yeah. I work too hard, I'm a threat now. Right, right, I experience right. that on job. Mm -hmm. They get intimidated. Yep. If I show them how smart I am and, and a better way to, to do the job, they might take me right here and you, and then they get intimidated because of what the wisdom I understand that God blessed me with. Or, you know, you know the, the, race, the discrimination on jobs and the professional face. And, the, and they, you know, they discriminate us uh, on jobs in, in various different mm -hmm. ways. And they play a lot of mind games, which trick you let out. Me, let me ask you something. You're you dropping so much knowledge, man. I'm a, No, I'm not going to ask you. I'm going to tell you. I want you to be a part of me on this road to helping our fellow black brothers. The same age as us, older than us, and younger than us. Because all the time we'll say the younger ones. It ain't just the younger ones that need help. We all need help. Yeah, you got to embrace We all need you. guidance. I embrace you. Yeah. The blood, yeah. the Crips. Yeah. I'm a black disciple. The blood, the Crips, the vice laws, everybody. Because they all young black brothers. Like right. I used to tell them in a the juvenile, in a penitentiary. Say, man, what's the difference between the blood? If you take the blue rag, the red rag, mm -hmm. the black rag away from these brothers, they y'all just look like some black ghetto bastards to me on six lane welfare, food stamps, and the project, nigga. Right. You dig what I'm saying? So, miss me with the bullshit, man. Yeah. So, DV Blue, every color got. Uh, uh, the green for mm -hmm. the land, yeah. symbolic after the land, our people. You know what I'm right. saying? Red, bloodshed. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The red is the bloodshed. You know what I'm saying? All, right. Hey, this, the the slave, the Atlantic tr slave trade. Hey, man, you know the bloodshed. There was a lot of bloodshed. The slavery. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. a lot of blood being shed with Trayvon Martins and and uh, all these George Floyd. There's still a lot of blood being shed, and to black people don't need to be shed more blood. So I said, then I used to tell these brothers. Mm -hmm. I tell them all the time. Say, man. 
that nigga grew up, y'all might not know each other, but y'all aunties and uncles grew up together, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You won't shoot at the motherfucking law mm -hmm. that's shooting at and killing y'all unarmed black brothers and sisters. Right. But you will shoot at the motherfucking, I ain't promoting you shooting at the law. Yeah. I'm just saying. You right. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. This is what the motherfucker, but motherfuckers say they're gangsters, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You'll mm -hmm. go and load up a hundred round drum in a clip mm -hmm. and shoot up this motherfucking house with babies and kids and motherfuckers on your street because y'all fell out over some motherfucking dope, some money, or some mm -hmm. mixes. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Or some pride and ego, some social media whole shit. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Because yeah. this platform, platform social media is dangerous, man. You got to watch how you handle this shit. You got to watch how you... Know what I'm saying? I told them social you media. Social, social media, media is it's, the worst thing to devil. happen to black you know people since crack cocaine. It, it, it is. Yeah, it is. It's um, giving the curse. It's all about how you use it. Yeah. And, if I ain't on there trying to tell nobody something good, I don't fuck with social media. People. Right. Right. I love the way you think, brother. I man, I'm so glad I ran into you. Yeah. I ain't lying. Divine day with destiny, I call it, man. That's what it is. We can't write this shit. We can't orchestrate this shit. This shit gotta happen organic. You know what I'm saying? Like the rapper D Flower say, natural. Hey, we gonna run it some more, man. Yeah, I want to okay. tell for for the world. Uh, state your name, where you from again. If they can reach you on social media or whatever, because you got you got wise words. Hey man, I'm a. Uh, they call me Scarface. My name Brian Grant. You know what I'm saying? They call me Scarface. Spice Lane Bottom Drop, Bull Tribe, Home Gone Strong, man. Hey man, we trying to. Uh, you know, we're trying to give back to the youth, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're trying to give back to our people and all people, man. We're trying to bring everything together, man. We're trying That's to right. open up people's eyes and realize that this shit is bigger than us. We're in a spiritual warfare on the coup. You that's know right. what I'm saying? These spirits that's in the nigga that's riding on this music mm -hmm. with niggas talking about stepping. See, mm -hmm. the record label that want to promote, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, like, we all in the same game. Mm -hmm. Self-destruction. See, the boys on the East Coast, all the rappers got together on the East Coast back in the game mm -hmm. and had a song called Self-destruction. Mm -hmm. You headed for self-destruction. Mm -hmm. Yes, what? Mm -hmm. You niggas need to go uh remix that motherfucker and bring it back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Go look up self-destruction. The East Coast mm -hmm. rapper. Then the West Coast did it. Call the West Coast All Star. While all the rappers mm -hmm. on the West Coast, Easy -E, NWA, Tone Low, all them boys, Ice T got together and they came with the uh, we're all in the same game, man, to stop this black on black crime, this mm -hmm. gang mm -hmm. crime, and let you know we all in the same game, man. You That's feel right. me? That's right. I, I do want I do want to say this though. Young boy did drop a song recently promoting stopping the violence. I was super excited about that. I don't know if you heard it. Did you hear it? Nah, I ain't heard it. You got to check it out, man. Check it out. I'm going to let you check it out when we, when we cut this camera off. But, yeah. Uh, yeah so he, that young boy. He, yeah. he a cold boy. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I like that young boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. he. Yeah, yeah, Way is my favorite rapper. He got a message, too. Okay. To check him out. Bull Tribe. What is it? 30 he Ways? 30 Ways. All right. Bull Tribe. Okay. Yeah. He from Houston? Yeah, he from Spice okay. Lane. Spice Lane, yeah. all right. Like okay. XO. So Spice we're gonna, Lane. We're going to push 30 oh, ways, yeah. man. Yeah, he talking he talking real stuff, huh? Yeah, he talking the truth. You know all right. He like okay. a lyric, he does, I call him a lyrical prophet. Like Zero mixed with Tupac with yeah. a, in his own way. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. just to kind of give you an idea of how he coming. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. That you can feel, man. Yes, sir. Real. Yes, sir. Struggle music. But, man, anything else you want to say to the camera? Hey, God bless the truth, man. Hey, stop the black on black violence and stop our violence, man. And uh, That's just realize right. we're in spiritual warfare, man. And guess what? You got to embrace the youth, man. Yeah. Hug your kids and yeah. your sons and daughters and, and build their self esteem up and tell them you love them, man. I'm going to send my sons and, and kids to Texas. Uh, I, whether I, they grown or they or, uh, and on their own or whether they still at highs. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. You got to love your kids and you got to embrace. You see these young black brothers? Yeah. I remember a time when I was coming up. Yeah. I'm 43, you know what I'm saying? I remember mm -hmm. a time when I was coming up. It was uh, old folks used to see me, man, and guess what? They going to tell me when I'm good, doing a good job, and mm -hmm. they going to get on my ass when I ain't. They going to yeah, yeah, give yeah. me some wisdom not understanding. We need life, that back. You know what I'm saying? We need that back. We need that back. And, it's, and it's for people that, the grown folks, you know what yeah. I'm saying? If you got any kids, you got any wisdom, you've been through any trials and tribulations, God mm -hmm. has delivered some any drugs, you've been in and out the penitentiary, that's who God calling. That's what yeah. we're looking for. He's right. looking for the prostitute. He's looking for the murderer. He's looking yeah. for the stealth. He looking for all that, because guess what? If we got a thing in a penitentiary, if it ain't God, it ain't, it ain't about nothing. Right. And, and guess what, man? We got a thing on Spike Lane. I'm out of it. It's all work, no play, baby. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. All That's work, right. no play. That's the 8323 way, man. Yes, sir. And hey, man, hey, it's all about love, life, loyalty, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. And bringing everybody together, you know what I'm saying? Now, how you say it no better than that. How you manage 14 children? Huh? How you manage 14 kids? <laughs> I got a lot of baby mamas. 
hey, it's, it's a bunch of paces and compromising and realizing that, hey, man, I just come clean and tell my kids the truth yeah. about my testimony, how I came up. Right. I left home at 15, and yeah. I was trying to find my way out here. I didn't want to listen to my parents. I right. thought I knew everything. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I can tell you, at 43, I wish I would have stayed home and stayed in school and listened. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. And, and, but everything that my mom and my grandma and great-grandmother taught me, yeah. hey, man, I'm using it today. And they used to tell me when I was a little boy, you're going to preach the word of God. And I used to be like, what? Man, yeah. what the fuck? The word of God. Man, look here, man. My motto was, man, I live for the riches and the bitches and the money and the honey and laughing at everything that ain't even funny. So I I don't even see. I could never mm -hmm. see me doing that. Right. But as I get older and and I start being grateful, attitude, my attitude turned into gratitude. Right. I'm grateful that God has delivered me from that. Because I got a lot of partners, you know what I'm saying, that didn't make it. R.I.P. Headcrocker. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. Baby John. R.I.P. You know, long live these boys, you know yeah, what I'm saying? These yeah. my brothers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The main baby boy Smith, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hey man, I got a bunch of partners on lock, we got a bunch of time, like Lil Raw, Free Lil Raw, Free Head Crocker, man. I mean free headache, man. Yeah. Hey man, it's just so many, man, the list goes on and on. Nobody got your name, man. You know I love you, man. Say, man. It just I, it just kills me, man. I'm talking about we go to so many funerals around there. Right. There's so many partners out in the Southwest. Man, even on on all four sexes, but as far as my sex right. in the spot. Hey, man, we go through so many yeah. goddamn murders, man. So many shootings, so many killings and shit. Yeah. That shit ridiculous. People, it's hurt me to see the people that I grew up with, man. And I ride through here and I just see why they didn't got murdered in. I'm like, God damn, when this whole ass shit gonna stop, man. You know what I'm saying? This All shit right. gotta stop, man. This shit is fucked up because you're killing people, cutting them off at the roof before they even unlock their full potential. And so, you don't know what God had that seed. You don't know what purpose God had for that young man or young woman to right. feel. What right. contribution they had to add to society and to the world? Let me ask you this: They speak on mental illness, mental health a lot. Yeah. Do you feel you are traumatized, or do you feel you have any mental health issues? I mean, being incarcerated, being going through what you've been through, seeing what you've seen, experiencing everything. Do you feel that? Hey, that's just funny. But they be blue. It's real. Mental health awareness is real, and a lot of people, you know, as you know, we men. Especially mm -hmm. black man, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The brown man, we full of pride and arrogance. Like, hell nah, we don't mm -hmm. need no motherfucking therapy. But mm -hmm. guess what though? Mm -hmm. All this shit that you went through, and, and like, you know, my mama, you know, with the domestic violence, my old man, mm -hmm. having to fight grown men growing up, that shit is abnormal. Nigga, mm -hmm. we just, we just become numb to it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? We mm -hmm. come, we adapt. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? We learn how to function and dysfunction, mm -hmm. they call it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I just fuck with that. What it's time yeah. to eat out of. But, right. but we learn how to function and dysfunction, mm -hmm. man. You feel me? And hey, I, over a course of a period of time, going in and out of incarceration and fighting mm -hmm. and dealing with being oppressed, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to have some kind of uh, PTSD. You're going to have some, you're going to have a short fuse. You're going to be mm -hmm. impulsive. You're going to fly off the handle. You're going to be aggressive, little mm -hmm. motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I'll let you run your blood pressure up and kill you later on that's in right, life. Right. So, you know, you can do that tough nigga right. shit all you want to until your chest start hurting one day. You yeah. feel me? But, yeah, mental health and awareness is real. Let me tell you what's real. Mm -hmm. All right, my fourth trip in the penitentiary, I just done six on the six from April uh, mm -hmm. oh, uh, 08 to April oh, 014, right? Mm -hmm. You did? So, uh, I come home, I've been out of society for six years, and, mm -hmm. you know, I've been in a controlled environment where it's all about respect. The rules of the streets, and, you know, the rules in the penitentiary is all about respect. Disrespect will get your motherfucking head knocked off your shoulder, mm -hmm. get your stabbed, and get your mm -hmm. ass killed anywhere on the planet. Mm -hmm. But especially in the streets and in the penitentiary, right? Penitentiary mm -hmm. rules in effect at all times. Mm -hmm. So, uh, man, me knowing that, you know, me knowing that, baby, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you got to be respectful. I come mm -hmm. home. At, and I'm still, they call it institute, mm -hmm. but I'm on mm -hmm. that respect shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't know that the world done changed since you last seen it, boy. You know what I'm saying? Shit done changed. You know, motherfuckers uh, jump on the bumper to you mm -hmm. and the road raise shit. Mm -hmm. Say, you know, hey, man, we, we ain't come up like that. We was raised with morals and values. You know, mm -hmm. Big Mama whoop your ass. Get out of the wrong right. road, Benny. What, yeah. none of that. Baby, what's up? That's right. Look here. Right. Anyway. If you gotta go, then yeah, we, like, we, no, hey, look, no, we, no, we, no, we ain't okay. going nowhere. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Look up, Big Mom just whooped that ass yeah. for uh, getting yeah. wrong for a bit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She's making me kind of lose my train of thought, but I'm saying, God bless the truth. Stay focused. Yeah, stay focused. So, uh, because this message is for the youth, you know what I'm saying? And we ain't gonna let the devil, you know what I'm saying, throw us off. He the author of confusion. Sure. 
You feel me? Sure. So we're going to, you know, wherever two or more agree, walking and touching, that's what he in the midst. That's yeah. why it's peace right now. I kind of forgot. I lost a step for a minute. but this all good. You talking about Big Mom? All right, Big Mom. Yeah. Big Mom going to beat your ass, man. Big Daddy going to put your ass and put that foot in that ass, man. Yeah. It's better loss for all the child, man. You know what I'm saying? There you we go. go back to that. Not saying right. you got to abuse him, but guess what? You, you can spank that ass. Mm -hmm. man. You can instill the raw of correction. That's your duty mm -hmm. as a parent. You know what I'm saying? From right. God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about what man said. Right. You know what I'm saying? Fuck man. Fuck the U.S. government and fuck every government. Right. Every man that think he a king. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. your ass going to die too, boy. And you're going to have to right. stand in front of the Lord of Lord and King of King, Papa. That's right. And I don't think you can fuck with that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what, nigga? I'm a real gangster, nigga. I done really mm -hmm. done shit out here. You know what I'm saying? Me and my right. niggas, you know what I'm saying? Say, man. And guess what? We all feel God, buddy. Yeah, right. Don't none of us don't want no motherfucking life sentence, no pen. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Ain't no more gangster than coming home to your wife and your kids, man, and taking care. Don't nothing make me feel better. You think being on a brick or a nine and riding on foes and uh, setting the image to motherfucking got motherfucking praising for who you think they is, you know what I'm saying, for an image that you portraying, you know what I'm saying? But hey, the peace come from knowing you're doing the right thing. Don't nothing make me mm -hmm. feel better than spreading the word of God and doing the right thing. If it ain't by God, it ain't about shit. And you'll see once your cell gets split and you breathing your last. If you ever had any near death experiences like I have, you know what I'm saying, Rex and flipping over and shoot eyes and dumb shit like that, you know what I'm talking about, then you'll eventually, at some mm -hmm. point, you're gonna get tired. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? God don't live in the frame of time. He eternal, Papa. You feel me? So that means your lifespan, you, you, you're on borrowed time, nigga. You feel me? And you're riding grace. You know what I'm saying? I done read the whole word of God to and fro. And it's all about us. And it's all about love. You know what I'm saying? And one of the prophets asked Jesus Christ, say, man, how can, uh, how can, uh, how can we do all these, keep all these commandments? And how, how can we do all that? How can we do all that? This is how we can do all that. Walk in love. Because if you love somebody, you ain't going to shoot him. You ain't going to want to fuck his gal. You ain't going to want to steal him on his motherfucking car because he's shining. You ain't going to want to take. You ain't. It's a sin and covet. If you even have thoughts and desires, you know what I'm saying, for anything that anybody got, that's a sin. You know what I'm saying? If you that's do right. this shit in your mind or in your heart, that's a sin to God. And everybody say they real. And guess what? Ain't nothing realer than being righteous and telling the truth. Nah, you ain't real. God is real. The word of God is real. And if you ain't trying to align your life up with the word of God, the real gang to serve God. Mm -hmm. I know it. Because you can mm -hmm. check my motherfucking Brian Keith Grant. I give my motherfucking social because I don't give a fuck. Nah, nah. I don't need it. <laughs> you know I don't nah, need nah, it because nah. I'm a street you know nigga. They, and I ain't they. worried about no bitch yeah. trying to do no identity. Though. Yeah. None of that type of whole shit. Right. Because this message is bigger than that. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Ain't no, you know nigga say ain't no cap in my rap. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, ain't no motherfucking cap in this shit here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. God bless the truth. You know what I'm saying? God don't say bullshit niggas on demon time. Now, ain't on demon time, buddy. Mm -hmm. They think they shit tough saying yeah. that shit, huh? Yeah. Now, they on demon time. On demon time. Well, I'm yeah. a war angel, bitch, nigga. Yeah. And guess what? All the demons... Well, let me tell you something about being on demon time. Since you yeah. niggas ain't never read about being on no bitch ass thing about being on no real motherfucking demon, yeah. and you ain't come out the pussy or no motherfucking yeah. prostitute, yeah. and your mama ain't never kill shit, and you ain't got... You ain't never beat no life since you ain't done four trips in 10 years in the pen. If you ain't on a gang of drug task force in your motherfucking town in your city, my nigga, you ain't no motherfucking demon, nigga. You did. So you a good little old boy that's missing, that, that, having an emotional motherfucking problem. You know what I'm saying? You in your feelings, nigga. Like Kevin Gates say. You know what I'm talking about? Get out your motherfucking feelings. Because real men don't deal with emotions like that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't tripping. Because everything cool in the mind of a gangster. Listen to Scarface. So I listen to that new shit. If you're going to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? But what you really need to listen to is the word of God. You know what I'm saying? Because if it ain't about God, it ain't about shit. And let me show you how real gangsters serve God. Because guess what? Hey, man. Moses murdered some shit. You ever kill shit? He really killed shit. You know what I'm saying? He went against kingdoms and shit. Like the U.S. government. Against mm -hmm. Egypt. You know what I'm saying? God mm -hmm. told him, say, man. Tell uh, the king of Egypt, go free my people. That's just like you going up to the U.S. Capitol and saying, hey, man. Go let all the niggas out the penitentiary, man. All my brothers out that bitch. And go and accept whatever consequences come with it. Mm -hmm. You niggas ain't built like that. Y'all still tripping on the January 6th insurrection shit. Mm -hmm. That shit was beautiful to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I said, damn, that look like prophecy being fulfilled to me. It look like God tired of y'all bullshit. Because you holding the sons and daughters of God. You calling them niggas. You calling them monkeys and shit. Mm -hmm. You using them. You creating mm -hmm. genocide and doing all this whole shit. And it's time up, baby. You know what I'm talking about? That's just what it is. And if you read the word of God, you'll know God. You know what I'm saying? It, it was a it was a lady. Mm -hmm. What was her name? Rahab. Wasn't mm -hmm. she spying? You know what I'm saying? Rahab. God used a prostitute to spy for the Israelite for his people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, and guess what? Man, Jesus come through that same lineage. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The Messiah. You feel me? 
So I ain't nothing more gangster than serving God, because guess what? I'd have been in a penitentiary with real killers, real murders with life citizens stacked. Close, I ain't talking about the nigga that just in the pen for, he done caught a little pussy bullshit that dope, okay? He mm -hmm. beat his baby mama. Nah, I'm talking about niggas really killing shit. I'm talking about niggas really whacking shit. Niggas really robbing shit, mm -hmm. nigga. Niggas that just fucked up, like me, all they motherfucking life. And you can see that shit. You see the glitch in my motherfucking eye. Mm -hmm. Know what I'm talking about? You see that motherfucking pain, boy. You know what I'm saying? Cause real niggas don't do no motherfucking faking. They don't do no motherfucking, and you know what I'm saying, lying and shit. You know what I'm saying? God don't save pussy niggas. And he don't save demons, nigga. Because guess what? When when the devil rebel against God, boy, in the Bible, nigga, and deceive a third of the heavenly host, Papa, you know what I'm talking about? You know what God did? He a one angel, nigga. One war angel, nigga. His name Micah, the war angel, nigga. Yeah. And guess how he beat him? He ain't use no motherfucking chopper with no hundred rounds, boy. And no mm -hmm. 7.6 tools and none of that old type of shit, nigga. Yeah, what he use? He use his mouth, the word of God. That's why you gotta watch what you say and watch what the fuck you do. Me included, nigga. Cause when I'm talking to you, nigga, I'm talking to my goddamn self. Mm -hmm. Know what I'm talking about? Cause I don't know you, nigga. Know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you some good news you can use, my nigga. Cause where I come from in the streets, you lace the nigga tennis shoes up tight to the right. No you dropping, saying? you dropping so much yeah. knowledge, man. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know how you feel about the the Wayne Wade situation. I ain't hear with, about with, it. with the son, with him changing his son oh, into the girl. Six? Yeah. yeah, what he's supposed to stand firm. You saw your so soul as a man, nigga. You saw your son mm -hmm. out, nigga. You saw your whole family out, cause nigga, you know the word of God, man. You a mm -hmm. motherfucking man, boy. You know what I'm talking about? You know God created Adam and Eve, boy. Mm -hmm. He didn't create Adam and Steve, boy. You mm -hmm. know goddamn well, man, ain't got no business putting his penis in no boy booty, man. Mm -hmm. And vice versa, my nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. How the fuck you think you got here, my nigga? Man and one man, man. That's just what that is, man. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got to say on that shit. I ain't compromising. Mm -hmm. Guess yeah, what? I ain't got no check, bitch. <laughs> I ain't got to watch my mouth. Because I'm protected by God, nigga. And I'm too mm -hmm. motherfucking retarded. And matter of fact, on that bipolar shit, when I back to doing that six years for that mm -hmm. kidnapping, that dope case, yeah. dig these blows. That was my last motherfucking bid that fourth one. Mm -hmm. When I done that, when I, when I done that shit, all right. When I come home, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to speak on that mental health mm -hmm. awareness shit, you know, it was all about respect where I come from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, in the streets and in the penitentiary, these niggas, and these people, individuals, they ain't been raised right. You know what I'm saying? These, a lot of millennials. They don't know respect, or a lot of people mm -hmm. have forgot respect. Mm -hmm. You know, say so selfish in the world that then fuck them up mentally that they done lost their morals and values and respect. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people dying today because they simply don't know how to treat people and walk in respect and mind their own fucking business, man. Mm -hmm. It's back to the base of how big mama and them talk to my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mind your motherfucking business and treat people the way you want to be treated, man. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's what I got to say on, on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I came home jumping out. The call on people because I ain't used to being disrespected. Motherfuckers bumping into me, motherfuckers road raging with me. So, you know, I'm jumping out the car, ready for action. Bitch, that nigga, what you talking about? You know what I'm saying? We coming from the shoulders, mm -hmm. penitentiary rules and effect. Then I've been beating up shit before I ever went to the penitentiary. Mm -hmm. Don't, let's get this shit clear. I'm mm -hmm. from the dead in South Park. I've been kicking niggas' ass all my motherfucking life. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Any motherfucker about it know you. Me or tell you, you know what I'm saying? That nigga don't play no motherfucking game. Mm -hmm. And I ain't toot my own motherfucking horn. I just mm -hmm. too goddamn retarded to be scary. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. But, uh, I wasn't used to that shit. So my baby mama, 12 years, told my mama, this nigga fight people, he's tripping out of you. My mm -hmm. mama said, oh yeah, oh that nigga bipolar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? She say, uh, she had my bitch ass committed, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to uh, what, CACP. I don't know I'm a brother, man. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dr. Snyder, Dr. Nime, shout out to my psychiatrist up there. Straight up, so mental health is you talking to a motherfucker on Deprico right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and guess what? That shit don't even help, nigga. The weed don't help, nigga. Only thing make me feel good is doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of business with mm -hmm. my mama and take care of business with my woman and take care of business with my motherfucking kids and my family and telling these young brothers, embracing the youth. I don't mm -hmm. give a damn who they is, where they from, what color, what gang, what color they is. Mm -hmm. All these niggas my brothers and all my kids because that's how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? These are all my little homies. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And I embrace them and I tell them something real, raw and true, man. I ain't going to mislead and misguide nobody's kid. You feel me? Because I don't want nobody to misleading mm -hmm. and misguiding mine. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, long as the world stands, it's going to be seed time and harvest time, man. You feel mm -hmm. me? That's what God promised. You know what I'm talking about? And guess what? I done read the whole word of God in the four trips, ten years in the penitentiary, man. Mm -hmm. Say, man, everything that I read in that revelation mm -hmm. in that Bible, mm -hmm. say, nigga, it's, it's going real. down right, right now, now. Papa. Yep. Yeah, yep. I listen yep. to see on the news. 
Hey, don't think it's strange, nigga. Mm -hmm. We see niggas walk around here, bitch, looking like girls and shit, having sex changed. All that shit is in the Bible, boy. Mm -hmm. All that shit, yeah. Because uh, guess what? People justify it. It's called the guilt of mankind. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's in Romans. Read Romans and Revelations, boy. It's mm -hmm. already written. Mm -hmm. That nigga's gonna burn with passion for uh, for each other. They gonna pervert the, the, the natural use of a woman and cling to each other. Mm -hmm. That's and women cling to each other. And guess what? They think we crazy because we ain't doing that. The children mm -hmm. of God standing firm. Mm -hmm. You got to let your light shine before men so they can know it's something peculiar and different. Set mm -hmm. apart. God, we in spiritual warfare because everybody going with the fads and the waves and the mm -hmm. punk shit mm -hmm. and the bullshit. Mm -hmm. And that LGBT, man, fuck that whole shit. Mm -hmm. That's the devil and all that gay shit. I ain't with it. I don't give a fuck. I've been kicking niggas ass that ain't even gay for acting soft, acting like they're gay. Cause I'm a motherfucking man and I'm an alpha male and I don't want no sissy punk pussy bitch ass nigga nowhere around me mm -hmm. with that whole shit dig them blues you know what I'm talking about everything sip everything solid we gonna keep this shit like, we gonna keep this shit honest man that's law yeah right yeah, we're gonna keep this shit honest. That's loud, man. We out of here. I ain't compromising. We out of here, Yeah, I, we, we got back. Embrace the youth, man. Mm -hmm. Love the youth. Embrace mm -hmm. the youth, mm -hmm. man. That's mm -hmm. your duty. As a you grown man, you done God and carried you through anything in life. Any child that like, you ever been broke on your deathbed and everything, anything, ever been on life, ever been, ever needed a blessing and mm -hmm. God sent somebody to bless your game and fill that void in your life? That was him, lame ass nigga. You dig what I'm saying? It's like, ooh, that the clear blue sky. It wasn't out the clear blue sky. It was real. You know what I'm saying? It was right. like God in the spirit heard your heart and seen your needs. You know what I'm saying? Right. For the word of God say, I shall supply all you need according to your riches and glory. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So if it ain't about God, it ain't about nothing, man. Read the Bible, man. And guess what? All you niggas looking for this bad, the niggas say they want a bad bitch, huh? Hey, man, look here. I want a beautiful versus woman of God, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't need mine cheating on me, man. You're yep. fucking me over. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm out here yeah, working hard, putting right. it down. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And that's what I mean by embracing the youth. Like the young brother right here. You right know there. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's the youth. Yeah. And check this out. That's mm -hmm. the young homie. What's yeah, up, yeah, man? yeah, yeah. And guess what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we embracing the youth all the way. And I'm supporting you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what it's about. Yeah. Uh, reach one and teach one. Reach one and teach one. What? You ain't got to be scared of them. So a lot of people, they scared of the youth. Why are you scared of the young brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. They waiting for you old motherfucking niggas and old grown yeah. women to come give them mm -hmm. some wisdom out and understanding right. life, man. That's, that's your right. duty. You yep. know what I'm saying? Man? They ain't got to mm -hmm. be young. You supposed to look at everybody young like that's your nephew. That's your son. Mm -hmm. That's your black mm -hmm. people got to get back. All people got to get back to our roots, how yeah. we came up. You know that's what I'm right. saying? That's and right. That's how it used to go. Because guess what? I ain't, my mom ain't had to whoop my ass and they ain't had to see me throwing rocks at the goddamn Catholic yeah. church in the dead end. Cause guess what? Miss Maddox seen it. You know what I'm saying? She's sitting on the steps, <laughs> seen it there old and told everything. And right. guess what? I got my ass beat. I don't know how the fuck she know it. And guess what? It wasn't no motherfucking cell phone. Mm -hmm. Seen it. Just like God said everything. God bless the truth.